Hi everyone and welcome to our Pit Science YouTube channel. In this video, we will be talking about how to use escape sequence to represent special character in strings as well as the static method string form char code and string form code point. If you are new to the JavaScript or if you are just looking for a refresher, I hope this video will be helpful. So without further ado, let's get started. Namaste. Welcome to Bit Science. So as you know, we can create string. So let's create a simple string and see this example. So I'm writing a statement called left str equals to double quotes a paragraph. Okay. Just say this this paragraph. You can add continuation by adding plus. So if you want to keep adding, you can also add more plus. It will concatenate all the string. Wait, this is the one one of the way to concatenate. There's another way to create the same string. See this example. It will give me if you add i slash. So this also set a the multiple line string arrow. This is for concatenation. This is not concatenate issue, but it's extending the next. So it's telling that there is the next line is the continuation of the previous line as a paragraph. So we will see some special character around. There are some escape sequence which which you add in between the string. You can escape the normal behavior of a string. I'm taking escape character. Not impossible. That's what see basic. And what if if I add this statement in the beginning? Slash double quotes. Only one single double quote. And at the end I will just write another double quotes. So what it means if you execute you will see double quote is added in full string. So what if if I add uh, some few things in between? So like this one. If I add iPhone zero, that means space. If you execute this, you will get a space as empty. You same way you can add iPhone uh, single quote as well. Single quote. If you add whatever you want to add, single quote, double quote, you it has to start with slash. So that means escape character. If you add escape character in any of the string, you will get you will escape that first string. Okay, there are many. Let's see some complex uh, escape character. B slash B slash L. This tab is a horizontal tab, and this tab is a vertical tab. Okay, so so this this uh, these are the three things which you might not be able to see this example. Uh, mostly, you need some other out kind of output. Uh, and backslash is uh, same thing. You have added a, in in the beginning, so a will be dissolved. What means it is actually uh, that spacing. So how you type in in keyboard, the same thing is happening here. There are more escape characters other than this. Uh, some easy one. These are the complex. We have slash n and slash r. Okay. So one is new line character. If you have familiar with new line, which is next line. If you add enter, that is next. This is one one example. Another is carrier. Okay. Here, this two example. So if you write, you will whenever the enter next line, it will go to this. And as you see, the cursor is blinking, right? This will be in this form. But when you when you see this uh, font. Carrier return. This is different. This also works similar way. My next space, but you will, you will see your cursor is actually blinking. It moves to that next line of the first uh, beginning of the current line. What it means that the cursor will move to what if something you have written there. Let's say you have added some value here, and you want uh, to to be your cursor to be at the beginning of so. Here is the after that it will return. Okay, let's let's understand some uh, static method in JavaScript. This example I have uh, writing here. Have you ever seen this kind of character? What this character means? I am doing split 
of this emoji. What it means that it doesn't have it. So empty. If you add comma, this will be it be emitted in two parts by comma. If you give this string all on this, then it will be a divide between two by three limiter. So right now I'm not deem limiter as this. So if you de split this, you will actually get two character, unicode character. So what are unicode character? So any language it not define the unicode character. So there are some standard unicodes in in JavaScript or any any language which it follows this unicode character. Let's see some unicode character. Hope you can see this, right? This is a list of unicode characters. So as you can see, this form which start from zero zero zero. Of zero means not connected. So first, they don't have any. Well, same. Next, there are some backspace also. Our text, some facts. We all the same thing. We keep on this one. Escape character. All are listed here. It's instead of writing back slash D or F anything, you can also use this uh, this Unicode character understanding. So all our keyboard character. This is are called S K punctuation S K quotes as well. So it start from that we took the symbol. Few thing we need to keep in mind that. From where our character start, sixty-five to ninety is our uh, our alphabet, capital alphabet, and ninety-seven to hundred and one twenty-two are small character. So apart from that, all are all are special character. Okay. So these are very helpful when we write some program we will trying to solve this. This is going to work. There are many more like like even over. Hindi or any other language is also included in this Unicode character. Some dollars, some other symbols are also listed. These are these. If you can see, these are some Roman, uh, Latin capitals. Those are different or are or, or already there. So you don't need to worry if you are also working with different languages. What is the extent of this Unicode character? Does it have? So this uh, Wikipedia will not give you a full list of that, but there are limitation. So let's see. Let's try to decode few font character. How to decode the code we have seen in the uh, Unicode? So we use on cal code. The string dot form cal code will give me. It can decode our Unicode. So sixty five is a sixty six is b. This is c. So if you decode, you will get a b c. There are some emoticons already listed in Unicode. See this example. This would be interesting. This is decimal and this is hexadecimal. The value is changed on box one. It just changed. It will try to figure out which Unicode it exists. Some there are some limitation. After this, uh, in JavaScript they have a separate uh, segment. What they call a Hadoopian pairs. So let's see some surrogate pair example. What it means? Surrogate pairs means it requires two. Beyond this value, you will not able to access those values. You need two value access. So see the example: five, five, three, five, six. This is one value, and this is another value. So what if if I just remove one value and try to get? So I will get some character which is not representable in this uh, device. If I add one more. And try to represent this. You will see here. Yeah, this is what this is a one kind of emoticon which you will see in WhatsApp as well. This is means night with stars. These are sun and sun which help the symbol. This is sunrise over mountain. Same thing you can do it with one simple hexa hexa decimal. Execute this. You will get uh, this this two pairs in one. So either you write decimal or either you write one. Another interesting fact is form code point. This is different method. This is different method. Form code point take both surrogate and code. What it means? You you will either you add surrogate or you don't add surrogate. But if you are using form cal code, it works with surrogate. Means that this be uh, this form code is more efficient than the form cal code. 
Okay, let's do this session today. That's all for this video. I hope you learned a little bit about JavaScript. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.